Welcome to the in-game play SDK video tutorial. In this video, we'll walk you through the process of integrating Animo's in-game play brand ads into your mobile game from start to finish. The first thing you'll need to do is create an account on the Admo developer portal. To do this, head to admo.com, mouse over the portal tab in the top right and click on the sign up option to enter your details and create an account. Now that you have an account, welcome to the Admo developer portal. This is the home of everything relating to your in-game play integration. To get started, you'll need to create a game. Click on the Add New Game button and then fill in your game's details. This will create a representation of your game on the portal, which will later link to your real game project in Unity. If your game is live already, don't forget to include its Play Store or App Store URL. Once you've created your game, click on it in your game list to be taken to its game page. Here you can view its game key, which you'll need later on in the setup process, and create ad placements for your game. Ad placements are in-game objects to which in-game play brand ads are programmatically served in real time. Ad placements can be contextualised to fit your game style, from placing ads on billboards or digital screens to posters, crates or banners. The key is to build them into your game in a way that feels natural and non-disruptive. You can choose from four placement types, optimised to support all IAB standard ad sizes. To create a new ad placement for your game, click on the Add New Placement button and choose one of the four placement types available. Once you've created your placement, you can view it in your Add Placements list. Here, you can see its placement key, which you'll need later, and also click on its name to change its settings again if you need to. Next, you'll need to download the Admo SDK itself. You can do this from within the portal. Simply go to the Overview page, then navigate to the first tab on the top menu and click Download the SDK. This will bring you to a page where you can download the latest version of the SDK. Once you've installed the SDK, you'll need to import it into your game's Unity project. Open your game's Unity project, click on Assets in the top menu, click on Import Package and then Custom Package. Locate the Ademo SDK on your PC, select it and import it. Make sure everything is selected during the import. You will now see a folder called Admo in your project's assets section. Open this folder, then open the subfolder called Prefabs. You will see a prefab called Admo Manager. Drag this into your project's hierarchy to add it to the project. This is a crucial prefab that will let you link your game to its representation on the portal, as well as configure your ad placements. Head back to the portal and copy your game key from within your games page. Place this into your game key box in the Admo Manager object in Unity. This will now link your game project to your game on the Admo portal. Now that your game is linked to the portal, you can start putting ad placements into your game. Do this by navigating to the Prefabs folder, then select the Meshes folder. Here you'll find 3D objects representing each of the placement types available. Head back over to the portal, copy the placement key from your created placement there, and paste it into the placement key slot, which you can see by selecting your placement object and looking at it in the Unity Inspector. Choose the one that matches the type of the placement you created earlier and drag it into your scene. Now that your ad placement is set up in Unity, you can test it by running your game. If everything has been set up correctly, you will immediately start seeing in-game play ads delivered to the ad placement in your game. When your ad placement is set up, you can check it is optimised for monetization. One way to do this is to make use of the debug tools in the Ademo SDK. 
To access these, click Admo in the top menu, then Manager. This will open the debug window. While your game is running, you can view information on how each of your ad placements are performing in this window. Adamo's SDK includes several control features to allow you to adjust the look and feel of each of the ad placements in-game. On the portal, click your placement in the placement list on your game page to open the Edit Placement screen. From this screen you can adjust the cycle extension time, which allows you to control the length of time between ads displayed once a valid impression is made. And the background settings, which allows you to select the colour of the background of the placement or whether you want the placement to change size to match each ad served. That's all for this video. This tutorial walks you through the basic Admo integration process so that you can start generating incremental revenue in your mobile game with in-game play brand advertising. If you're looking for some more advanced tips on how to optimise your ad placements, visit the Admo YouTube channel. Our design guide, in-game play reviews and genre guide series all contain great tips and insights on how to deliver an excellent in-game advertising integration. Thanks for watching.